Tonight, Kaylee Schmidt and I continue our Sanford Science Series with a look at one of the many cutting edge experiments underground. Deep within the lead lined walls is a machine finely tuned and quietly looking for something that right now is purely hypothetical. A state of matter that only exists on the movie screens and the comic books. So far, nobody's found any dark matter. A previous attempt to find dark matter called the Lux experiment failed, so scientists built it bigger and better. This is just a bigger, best version of this type of detector to date um, when it starts running in 2020. Construction on the Lux Zeppelin is well underway, but how do you locate a state of matter that doesn't want to be found? What we're doing is we're building a, a big tank. We, we fill it with liquid xenon, which is a very pure, uh, very, very, uh, very specific material and uh, we wait for interactions of dark matter particle inside this tank, which will give us a flash of light. We're trying to understand this stuff called dark matter that makes up probably about 80% of the matter in the universe. Now it's a space race to see who will find dark matter first. And lift off. And we were trying to beat the Russians to the moon. The first to actually do it will be going to Stockholm to get their, their Nobel Prize. And with more than two dozen similar experiments around the world, the race is truly on. But what makes scientists so convinced that dark matter even exists? What is it? We don't know. We know its effects, though. We know that it affects mass. It tends to clump things together in a way that leads to the formation of, of galaxies and things of that nature. Because of the unknown, scientists can't pinpoint any practical application for dark matter just yet. Still, there's a more enlightened reason for the research. The best reason is uh, we are pretty sure it's there, but we haven't been able to found it. And from a scientific point of view, that's just, that's just uh, not a good feeling. So far, it has been mostly disappointment. Uh, because nobody has found anything, but no, it's always really exciting. But yeah, no, it's a big deal for us. That's that's what we live for, certainly. A mile down at the Sanford Underground Research Facility, Kaylee Schmidt, Coda Territory News.